I just hired a car uh, to drive to the next town to get my visa. I'm going to stop by some beautiful waterfalls along the way. Uh, let's get going. morning. I don't know if you can hear me very well over the sound of this disgusting waterfall. Uh, it's about 20 minutes on my path to get my visa so I thought I'd stop off and uh, show you what Turkey's like. It's such a beautiful place. Let's get for swim. It's like the Phantom Comics. We got the uh, Skull Cave back here. I haven't seen anyone around, but then there's this thing. Self-service tea. How oh, great. Frogs, turtles, sleeping ducks, butterflies, dappled light, gnarled trees, icy water, the afterglow of a bracing swim, hot coffee, this could be love. Another thing I should have done in the right order. This is part of the steering system. A shaft mates onto this spline and goes forward to the steering station. And all it does is pass the rotation through some bearings. And there's another one of these on the other side of this bulkhead and another shaft attaches onto that just to get the steering through the bulkhead and of course I didn't take it out before the sandblaster and the bearings are open uh, so of course it's full of sand and it doesn't turn anymore uh, so I'll pull it out 
before I did the painting, take it down to my shed and uh, clean it up. was uh, supposed to be a five minute job which turned into a 45 minute job as they all do but success so we've got this little shaft out now if we clean up the bearing runners look how shiny they are if, if we had to turn that used it with the sand in there that would have just killed that clean off all the sand on this bearing runner as well look at that beauty not much to do here clean it up put it all back together maybe give it a coat of primer and we look at the bearings in there there got a lot of sand in there at the moment look good it just gets a little bit of turning it's not like a, a motor that's whizzing around it's it's not too bad I've always been a very curious person mechanically curious and pulled apart countless different sort of machines just to see how they work and I've probably gotten 10% of them back together and working again and in my experience of destroying things uh, I've learnt a lesson that if you ever want it to work again you should pull it apart to a minimum that you can do what you want you don't pull it 100% apart and also you put it back together as quickly as possible so you remember how it goes back together so in this case I'm not going to pull out the bearing uh, it looks like a press fit looks very difficult to get out I might break it uh, so I've just flooded it with uh, degreaser gotten all the sand out of it I'll grease that back up clean up the cap put it back together and Despite the struggle to get them dismounted out of the boat, uh, they're all cleaned up, greased up, and ready to go back in. Uh, yeah. Look at that, nice and shiny, nice and clean and greasy. Might give them a coat of primer, a bit of paint, make them look good. But uh, they're solid as. So I'm um, just waiting for some more primer to dry on the boat. So I'm going to clean up this ugly looking piece. Uh, this is part of the drive shaft system. It goes from the thrust bearing I was banging on about last episode uh, to the motor and it can deal with a little bit of angle so the thrust bearing may be like that and the motors like that uh, yeah good bit of kit it's looking a bit rusty and worn uh, but that's a, only fairly recent it was looking nice and shiny when I bought the bone. So I'm going to, inside here, get this off, is a bunch of grease and uh, grease shouldn't look like that, that's black. Uh, grease should look like, not as clear as Vaseline, but you know, a bit clear. This just means uh, it's time to 
clean it all out, put some new grease in. Now I've spent a bit of time with some grease remover, brake cleaner, to clean up this coupling link that connects the engine to the thrust bearing. And if you look inside, for example this one, it's nice and shiny, uh, it's a pretty great mechanical thing. It's got these, these balls in there which allow the connection to move in this direction and in this direction but not in the rotational direction so that your boat has power. Pretty cool thing. Put that cap back on. Little seal. But this side uh, it's not looking so great. And the reason for that is, on this side, they've got a rubber seal to connect the shaft to the whole bearing assembly, which is called a boot. And the boot's got a couple of holes in it. Uh, not ideal. So the, the grease in there has dried out. I don't know if you can call it. Grease is not hydrated, so it, I don't know what happens to it, but it gets all, all dry and clunky and yeah we caught it just in time it's still in good condition it's pretty tough to clean all the grease out but I have to source now a new boot uh, for this uh, could be difficult it's a, a German part we're not in Germany we're in Turkey um, it's not a critical thing, but it's not a long term. Uh, in the long term, this will die. Uh, if I can't find the part in Turkey, I can just put it back together, put some more grease in it, keep an eye on it. Uh, it'll take me back to Germany, no problems. Uh, where then I will definitely be able to source a part. But it's worth a try uh, before I paint over the serial numbers and the, the brand names and everything. Uh, Look that up, see if I can get a part in Turkey. So the day's come. I'm mixing up my first can of polyurethane. Never worked with this before. a bit windy but I resurrected my little boat got a little two horsepower Honda four stroke on the back of it and you can set it up but the steering's a bit locked the accelerator's locked and you can just balance and lean and the boat will go where you want to go so uh, not having to worry about the motor until of course it dies or something. I'm heading home Thursday after work. It's a uh, good commute. This is my favourite house up on that rock up there. Only accessible by water, there's no roads going to it. And looking 
me out to that view.